Hello, hello, it's Kitty with Declutter the Brain coming to you live on uh, Wednesday, March the 9th. <clears throat> on a, uh, yeah, a meh day in Atlanta, Canada. I do hope it's a pleasant day where you are, and if it isn't today, it will be tomorrow. Trust me on this, and it all comes from within. Uh, you can you can be sunny outside and you can be bummed out, but uh, and and of course the opposite. But hey, just remember that somebody out there is watching out for you. So just keep that there. There's your takeaway for today, if nothing else. All right. So uh, who am I? I am Kitty with uh, Kitty Andrews with DecoderTheBrain.com. And what do I do? I help coaches and consultants and would-be entrepreneurs clear their physical and mental clutter so that they can focus on, uh, on frankly, making more money in their business, creating an amazing life for themselves and their families, whatever that amazing life may look like. It's not the same for everybody. So, hey, whatever, wh whatever it looks like. Now, uh, in my 20 years of helping people to uh, basically get control over their surroundings, I have developed a step-by-step -step one system uh, which has helped me and my clients go from broke and overwhelmed to organized and focused and of course clutter clutter free and well off again whatever well off it means to the individual and I do believe that physical clutter and lack of focus and concentration are very closely related and that's why I have developed my step-by-step -step one system um, and that one system, by the way, uh, it can be applied to a myriad of, t of topics. It doesn't have to be just about physical clutter. Trust me, I, hello Sarah, I use this one system in all areas of my life, whether it's decluttering, decluttering my brain, decluttering my thoughts, which ultimately is what I do. Uh, decluttering my health. We address all of the pillars of life at Declutter the Brain and I hope that you'll continue to join us Th and thank you so much for watching today. Today is the most important day of your life. All right, if, if um, I'm just going to ask you quickly, if um, how would it feel for you to take immediate action on your clutter? Would you feel more focused? Would you feel more productive? I, any of the above. I'll tell you what, if you answered yes to either of those questions, uh, you just hold that thought and we will give you your next steps to take later on in this short video. And here we are, okie dokie. Uh, we are talking this week about <laughs> Good heavens, I'm a little distracted and people are talking out in the hallway. Um, we're talking about um, calming your kitchen chaos, uh, aka decluttering your kitchen. And that can feel overwhelming. Decluttering can be, can be overwhelming, but it doesn't have to be. Trust me on this. So hang with me here. Now, um, it always starts with a why. And everybody has a different why as to, Sarah, I don't think you saw this over the last couple of days, uh, what, having, having um, a why for why would you want to declutter your kitchen? Well, perhaps you've gone on a, new, on a different kind of diet, all right? And you wanna get rid of some, some, some stuff that no longer serves you. Um, maybe you have fewer household members, someone has left. Uh, maybe you have a, a couple of additions to the family. Hi, Pam. Uh, <laughs> I'm doing this without my glasses. A um, couple of extra member of what, why else? Here, let's have a look here. Uh, what do you get old? You'll need notes too. Uh, <laughs> uh, more or fewer 
household, household members. No, no matter what the reason, uh, you may even just decide you want some fresh energy. You want, you, you're just bored. It's spring now, of course, it's coming up. And maybe you just need a lift. You need to, hi, Michael. Um, you just, no matter what your reason, you're just bringing fresh energy into your kitchen. And from a feng shui point of view, uh, your kitchen is your, uh, from any point of view, the kitchen is the heart. It's the hub of the house. It's where your nourishment takes place and that is where you need your fresh energy the most. It is no coincidence that the kitchen is usually located in the health area of the feng shui octagon and um, I think they put it there for a reason. Alright, so we're, we're this is what we're doing this week is we are uh, taking the overwhelm out of decluttering your kitchen and bringing you some fresh energy. Um, so, first thing, do not try to do it all at once. Please, no, don't do that. Uh, you, do not say to yourself, all right, I'm spending all Saturday afternoon and my kitchen is going to be perfect. Please, in the name of all that's holy, do not do that, all right? You're setting yourself up, maybe not for failure, but for number one, disappointment. Number two, a real bad mood. <laughs> And trust the voice of experience when I tell you this. I am the ultimate overachiever and I can do everything like that. BS. All right? No, you can't. So what you want to do is break it down into steps. Uh, and we're going to go through, through those steps. First, so the first step that I recommend that really, really helps me and my clients is uh, uh, give a quick um, address and uh, give a quick address to your fridge and your microwave. Why? Because those are the two things that you open pretty much daily, many times a day. Yes. So these are the two things you want to address. Now let's save you a little bit of work, shall we? Aha! Yes. Everybody perks up their ears and says, "Save me work." Yes. Where to? Tell me more. Um. Give a quick sweep before you're doing your fridge and your microwave. Give your give the floor a quick sweep and or vacuum and get up the, the loose crumbs and then put a drop sheet down to catch the crumbs that are going to fall out of the fridge and the microwave. Genius, right? Simplicity? All right. And yes, you're welcome. That's my idea. I didn't get that offline, on online. Uh, the reason for this is, well, I'm going to have to do it anyway. Yes, but you're going to be walking on the crumbs that are on the floor already and grinding them into the floor, making it more difficult to clean. I cleaned, I had a cleaning business for 18 years. I know whereof I speak. Trust me on this. All right, so you've got your drop sheet down. Speed clean your fridge. This does not need to take three hours, okay? Set a timer for 30 minutes for the entire job. Take one shelf at a time, see the one system? Take one shelf at a time, pull everything out, discard, uh, give it a quick wipe, discard the obvious science projects. Put everything back. Do not think about this. Just discard the obvious science projects, put everything back. Repeat, repeat, rinse and repeat on the, on the door shelves, okay, and it's done. Believe me, oh, I've done this and I just, every time I open the fridge, oh, angels are singing. Same deal with the microwave, okay? Um, just, and if you're, if you've got uh, things that are stuck to the walls of the microwave, what you want to do is microwave a cup of plain water in your microwave for um, yeah, one or two minutes. Uh, usually two minutes and everything will wipe off sparkling clean like you don't believe mm -hmm. oh and it just feels so good trust me on this now today and um, cupboards Ooh, where do I start I like to start with the dishes covered frankly I, I don't know why but I just do and just um, uh, yes you are going to when well, you can do a quick swish first just to make sure that there aren't any dishes that are chipped because yeah not only you deserve better than chipped dishes all right make sure um and you can just have you can you can go through your dishes this is one cupboard of dishes 
all right? And that's your goal for that day, is just one cupboard of dishes. Well, and if you feel like you wanna do more, good for you, fill your boots, all right? But um, your goal is just that one cupboard and go through your dishes one one at a time doesn't you don't need to make it make it an all-day affair song and dance just quickly scan okay are these all chipped are they in good repair do i even like them should i put it on my shopping list to go to go get some new ones whatever it is all right you're just giving an assessment um and quickly give it a quick wipe out uh wet rag dry rag put everything back Ah, fresh, yes, this is what you want. And then you rinse and repeat with the other dish cupboards. See, if you break it down, that is the key to anything. Uh, uh, my one sister, just breaking it down into manageable bits so you can breathe. Because I'll tell you what, um, I'm gonna finish with this. Life can be really, really overwhelming. It can throw a bunch of shiitake at you like you don't believe. Make it simple where you can. Put in the comments if you agree. Make it simple where you can so you can put your mental energy to the other stuff that's coming your way. <laughs> all right, and I wish you all, God, I wish you all the best. All right, so. Um, if you enjoy this video, just hit that share button. You don't know who is out there crying in their kitchen. Trust me, I have seen actual tears in the kitchen from my clients, all right? And they, those tears don't stay there for long. Just hit that share button. You don't know whose life you're going to change. If you want to see other videos that I've made, I'm, I'm on day 496, I believe, but uh, the ones from September are conveniently listed and categorized for you on YouTube. Just go to YouTube, uh, type in Declutter the Brain, and you will see my smiling face, and everything is cataloged, labeled, and organized for you by topic, so that you can find what you're looking for, PDQ. Mm -hmm. If you don't know what PDQ means, DM me. I know you know what P to Q. Ha, oh, thank you, Michael. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> Michael is a valued team member, and, um, uh, and Sarah and Pam, and I'm here to tell you, Declutter the Brain would not be without these, these people, the other team members, and, of course, Jen, our, our OBM, Online Business Manager. Just want to send a shout-out to you. Uh, thank you. Thank you all very, very much. Sorry about that. I had a little bit of a moment. Hey. Uh, <laughs> all right, so questions. How would it feel to 2x your life without feeling distracted by your clutter? Hmm? Do you just want your clutter gone and your mental clarity back? And finally, are you coachable? Oh, thank you. Are you coachable? Hmm? Uh, do you do you, do you, do you have a pro do you think do you act on on what people on suggestions all right or are you a unicorn you have to do it your own way I tell you what if you are an action are you an action taker who is committed to clearing your space and organizing your thoughts so that you can make more money and have those and have that amazing life yes all right you answered yes okay. I told you I was going to give you steps. Number one, get off that hamster wheel and join Declutter the Brain Facebook group. The link is down below. We are uh, we are a, we are a small supportive group. We have a weekend a weekend warrior mini challenges. All right, what can you get done in ten minutes of decluttering? Kind of thing. What's your project for the weekend? We have Friday workshops. Uh, every, every Friday, coincidentally, um, and they're only an hour, they're bite-sized, right at lunch, yes. Uh, Friday workshops, weekend decluttering, and special guests uh, to add some little interest. So uh, click that link below, Declutter the Brain Facebook group. What is step number two? You want to scroll down, scroll down, that's right, uh, to download your seven easy steps to conquer your physical and mental clutter. And 
while, uh, while you are there, or you can scroll down again and click the link to book your Conquer the Clutter call with me, and I'll listen to see what your, uh, what your clutter is really costing you, and give you a plan of immediate action to take. Sound good? All right, let's see what's next for tomorrow. Oh, don't wait to make that call. Hmm? Uh, all right, tomorrow, is it safe? LOL. All right, bye for now. See you tomorrow.